Hello. Today's video, we're going to show you how to install the batteries on the AccuCraft Ride On GP GP40. This also applies to the GP38. And here we have a one and a half inch scale GP40, battery powered, painted in a EMD demonstrator blue and white. So we're going to show you what you get when you take it out of the crate. First we'll open the nose. We have controller. We have the cable. And this system, this comes with the sound system, which has a dongle. And the first thing you should do is plug it into the end that you're not going to put the handheld to. There's also this battery switch, which is in the cab. And you will get that after we've wired everything up. Now we're going to open up and we see our AccuCraft electronic system. This will look a little different if you get the base model that doesn't have sound or radio control. So we're going to take these out. These are for holding the batteries in place so they don't bang around the walls. And take out some of these cables for bat the batteries. Here we have the battery the fuse and we have the battery equalizer which are normally going to be floating after you have everything installed. So we'll put those to the side. I'll take a look inside. We've got that battery switch we were looking at. We've got little slots for the batteries. And we have our motor controller. Now, probably the easiest way getting the batteries in. It's possible to do it without lifting this up, but it's easy to just take the wing nuts to hold this down, which we already have done, but. And just kind of put it to the side. Just be careful with that. Okay, we're gonna put the four batteries in now. Okay, we're going to put the first battery in, and the batteries go one, two, three, four. If you're standing, if you're looking from the front to the back, and the negatives go in the front, and the positives go to the rear. There you okay. Go. Second one. So these are just to be put in along the sides. And 
and that keeps the batteries in, in place side to side. But we won't do that for the rest of this video. So we'll, we'll start with the battery four. We have these three, which all go to the positive terminal. One is the charger. This is the charger. One is the charger. This is the positive from here. One goes to the circuit board. And this one goes to the battery, the motor controller. Well, you also have this one, battery three. Okay. So now we have battery four and battery three connected together. We've jumped the negative from battery three to the negative of battery four, positive to positive. That's negative three also has this cable, short cable, going to this fuse. On that end of the fuse, you have the blue cable going to the sugar board and a white cable going to battery equalizer. The other end of the fuse goes to the positive of battery two. So now it's battery one and two. Push, put the grounds together. There's two. Check now the this. negative of battery one gets a couple things. This one and this one together. You, see? you get one con one connection to battery two, and from the bottom of the battery switch. Finally, you have and positive of battery one and two connected. And there you have it. We are connected. Just to recap, Battery one at the front, two, three, four. Negative terminals facing forward. The battery switch at the front, on one, the top end, has the line to the battery equalizer, has a cable going to the motor controller, and bottom oh and the line going to the battery charger here's our charger the plug-in charger once again battery one negative terminal connects to the bottom of the battery switch and to the negative of battery two battery one positive connects to battery two positive battery two positive also connects to this fuse the negative of the fuse connects to bat the negative of battery three. The negative of battery three connects to the negative of battery four. Positive battery three connects to the positive of battery four. And battery four positive connects to the motor controller, connects to 
battery charger, connects to the equalizer, and connects to the circuit board. Here we have the sound card, which needs to be pressed down, which is what this piece is for. If you're having trouble with sound, most likely is that the card has come a little loose. Now we're gonna try running it. First thing is inserting the key, and turning it clockwise. When you turn on your controller, you have to wait about 10 seconds for the system to start. And once you have the indicator on your battery status light going on, we are ready to go. You need to be at zero to make any changes in direction. You can go to forward. Reverse. You can go to switcher mode, which allows you to have slower control of your loco. If you are in auxiliary horn mode, this button will, you will activate the air horn, which is quite, pretty loud. So let's try out the sound. Sound down, sound up, bell off. When you're in sound horn, then this button and you're an auxiliary horn. There's a safety feature with these, which is that when you, if you leave the direction and the speed on, and you try to turn the power on, and you wait, it doesn't go, it won't run off. You have to go back to zero, reset, before you can start moving again. And if you try to flip your direction, 
Again, nothing will happen until you reset. And then you're going backwards. Always go back. Always turn your power off from here. Then, when you're done running, you can turn off the switch in the cab. And there you have the wiring instructions for the AccuCraft GP40.